So in this phase of the mo module, we're going to be uh, telling the software where the teeth are. And one key point I want to point out is that if I roll the model forward so it's looking right at me, you can see that you're actually looking at the back of this little skull. Okay? And that's because the software doesn't know how the models align to uh, to the 3D environment. So essentially, this part of the software is going to tell the software a few, th sorry, this step is going to tell the software a few things. First of all, by holding, if you look at it, shows you, we've already imported the opposing, we can show and hide that, but the first step is to annotate the teeth. It's telling us where to start, the upper right central incisor, and as I hold the shift button, I can click two different times, two different color nodes, and that tells the software, gives it a hint of where the mesial and distal the tooth is. But not only is it doing that, and I'm going to progress all the way through, and I'm going to mark every tooth. It doesn't matter if you slightly fall off a tooth. You're really just telling it some orientation. Um, as I progress through here, sorry, I, wanna, I do want to note something. We don't need to note the wisdom tooth, but if you were missing a premolar, you would do this as well. Right click, sorry, instead of left clicking, you would simply right click. It makes a blue dot. If, for instance, let's go to this side, it's automatically back so we don't have a wisdom tooth we need to tell it to go to the left side now if we've marked the wisdom tooth there's no more teeth to mark so it's going to automatically advance us to the next left side i don't need to press that button so anyway if for instance i come to here and let's pretend the tooth the patient was missing their second premolar i would mark this one and if this tooth right here was gone i would just right click the gingiva and keep clicking along so that just tells the software, all it does is ignore this blue dot, allow, and it allows the software to advance to the next tooth. Now since we have it, I am going to go ahead and click the teeth. And again, there's really no need to mark the wisdom tooth because it's going to ignore it anyways, but just to go ahead and finish that up. Now I click on Finish Marking Teeth, and now notice that this alignment is accurate. Okay, so it uses these dots to determine the orientation of the teeth, or uh, of the arch itself. So, it makes the curve, the plane of occlusion as flat as possible. There's a little cant here, and I think that's partly due to the actual teeth and the averaging out of these dots, and it can also be um, affected by the placement of the, f the most distal dots in the second molars. But that is how, all th how this module works. You have now marked all the teeth. Now, the next step is to close the model. Most optical scans are going to bring in hollowed out models like this. If you have brought in models um, that are closed, you can skip this step. But if there's any hole in the model, a, an error or anything else, it will require that you close it because it cannot move forward with a, an open model or it will not allow you to proceed. So be sure that if you're closing it using an outside software that you do um, analyze the model to make sure there are, are no holes. I'm going to click Close Model. So this is going to give us a base. Now that's one of the parameters in the tools setting of the preferences that I showed earlier in the previous module where you can determine how tall you would like the model b to be, how tall the base should be after it closes it. So here is our model. Bear in mind that closing or the selecting all the teeth is important because if you don't it may end up actually cutting off the cusps of the, the most distal teeth or the teeth that aren't uh, that are ignored just because it sort of loses orientation so don't uh, skip that step spend the you know the, the full amount of time and mark all the teeth you don't have to mark the, you know, the third molar the, the the teeth to be ignored but otherwise you do need to mark every tooth so that's the end of this step. The next step will be the actual two segmentation step. I'm going to click on that button and let it load and do its processing.